Peter's Elephant Nose Fish, Nathan Miss P. Tercii, Sen. Nathan Miss Brevacaudatus Pellegrin, 1919, Mormorus P. Tercii Gunter, 1862, is an African freshwater elephant fish in the genus Nathanmus. Other names in English include elephant nosed fish, long nosed elephant fish, and Albany Mormiwood, after the Albany River. As the Latin name P. Tercii confirms, it is named after someone called Peters, probably Wilhelm Peters, although the apostrophe is often misplaced and the common name given as Peters elephant nose fish. It uses electrolocation to find prey and has the largest brain-to-body oxygen use ratio of all known vertebrates. Peter's elephant nose fish are native to the rivers of West and Central Africa, in particular the Lower Niger River Basin, the Algun River Basin and in the Upper Chari River. It prefers muddy, slowly moving rivers and pools with cover such as submerged branches. It is a dark brown to black in color, Laterally compressed, averaging 23 to 25 centimeters, with a rear dorsal fin and anal fin of the same length. Its caudal or tail fin is forked. It has two stripes on its lower pendicular. Its most striking feature, as its name suggests, is a trunk like protrusion on the head. This is not actually a nose, but a sensitive extension of the mouth that it uses for self-defense, communication, navigation, and finding worms and insects to eat. This organ is covered in electroreceptors, as is much of the rest of its body. The elephant nose fish has poor eyesight and uses a weak electric field, which it generates with specialized cells called electrocytes, which evolve from muscle cells, to find food to navigate in dark or turbid waters, and to find a mate. Peter's elephant nose fish live to about 6 to 10 years, but there are reports of them living even longer. Peter's elephant nose fish is among the most commonly available Mormiwood in aquarium stores in the USA. In the aquarium, which should be at least 200 liters, it is timid preferring a heavily planted environment with subdued lighting. Ideally, a pipe or hollow log should be provided. The substrate should ideally be soft sand to allow the fish to sift through it with its delicate extended lip. It feeds on small worms, blood worms, and aquatic invertebrates such as mosquito larvae, but in the aquarium will usually accept frozen or even flake food. How peaceful an elephant nose fish is can depend on the individual, some are quite aggressive with other species, while others are tiring. They may be kept in a community aquarium with peaceful species who share their water preferences. However, unless kept in an aquarium of over 400 liters, it is unwise to keep more than one elephant nose fish as they can be territorial. The conditions suggested to keep them in an aquarium are as follows, pH of 6.8 to 7.2, water temperature 26 to 28 degrees Celsius, and water of medium hardness. The substrate should always be something that does not irritate the sensitive snout of the fish. The weak electrical impulses generated by this fish can be made audible by placing two electrodes in the fish tank that are then hooked up to an audio amplifier or a piezoelectric earbud. The elephant nose fish can use its electrosensing to detect moving prey and worms in the substrate. Although the elephant nose fish was once thought to have poor eyesight, it is now known to have good low light vision. Its eyes use a combination of photonic crystals, parabolic mirrors and a clustered arrangement of rods and cones.